This time on Bob World Builder, we play the Dragon of Icefire Peak Umbridge Hill Quest from the D&D Essentials Kit. Hi, I'm Bob. And I'm Grace. And this is the Dragon of Icefire Peak gameplay series. Check my DM's Guide video for this quest and more in the full playlist linked in the description. And subscribe for new D&D videos every Wednesday. All right, Grace, who will you be playing for this quest? So my name is Cloda. I am a level one f- human fighter. And my friends who are with me are Donabella Fiasco, the unicorn masked spellcaster. And I chose for her to be a healer. And my other friend is Inverna Nightbreeze, the cowboy edgy <laughs> orcading elf um, who is going to be a warrior of the defender sidekick class all right yeah so those are two of these sidekicks included in the dragon of ice peak and so you and your two party members there had went to the job board in Fandolin and picked off this umbridge hill quest that quest card reads the local midwife an acolyte of Shantea named Adabra Gwyn lives by herself in a stone windmill on the side of a hill a few miles south of Phandalin. With dragon sightings becoming common, it's not safe for her to be alone. Urge Adabra to return to Phandalin. Once she's safe, visit Townmaster Harbin Wester to claim a reward of 25 gold pieces. So your goal more or less is to tell her it's not safe to be out there and try to bring her back. Okay. This sounds fun. (laughs) All right, so you guys travel the few miles outside of Phandalin. It's south of Phandalin, kind of in the hills south of the town. And after journeying for several hours, you guys see, built on the slope of Umbridge Hill, is an old stone windmill surrounded by an iron fence. A large winged monster with a spiky tail is trying to knock down the windmill's front door. A woman appears in a second floor window, waves at you and yells, Ah, a little help? So you see a creature at the front door of the windmill over here. It has kind of the body of a lion, that long tail with multiple spikes in it, and a kind of grotesquely humanoid face, and it's scratching, kind of pushing its, oh, and of course two large kind of leathery wings, shoving itself against the door, apparently trying to break it down. What are you doing? I'm not liking it. It, it hasn't noticed you yet. Okay. Um, what is this, like, dotted line here you have drawn on the map? That is the ruins of some other structure that must have once been attached to the windmill. So there's not really any wall there, but it's just like a line of stones okay. still remaining. I guess we'll just, uh, yell at it. Okay. (laughs) Here, kitty kitty. It turns its ugly humanoidish face towards you and just shouts, "Ah, What do you want? Uh, we just want to safely escort this woman back to town, and then you can have the windmill. I don't want the windmill. I want a meal or something that can get me one. Uh... It pushes itself against the door again. A diver screams, ah! Like, like, what kind of meal do you need? Meat! <laughs> we could probably get you some of that. Does it have to be human? Because that would be an issue for me. No! What do you mean? How can you get me something? You don't look like a, a hunter like me. I have a big ol' sword. Okay, you hold up the sword. It, it's now like facing you, kind of hops over that little stone wall towards you a little bit, brandishing its tail. Well? <laughs> is, is there like woodland anywhere nearby? So you're on this kind of more barren slope, but you've definitely seen some small game on your way here. All right, well, why don't we just go like into the forest and we'll get you near something? <sighs> I guess if you can be quick. He kind of he start, he starts pacing around the windmill. <laughs> um, do you want to go hunt, or what, what's the plan? I don't know if I can kill a deer fast enough. Uh, 
I this guy, as, he, as he's gotten closer and kind of moves around the windmill toward you, you can see that he looks uh, like a little emaciated, like a little on the thin side. Oh, he's just um, hungry. Yeah. He, he, as he gets closer and rounds toward you, he says, Ever since that uh, white dragon took my lands in the mountains, things have been a little harder around here. That sucks. <laughs> but how about you leave the little old lady alone and we'll help you catch some meat. I'm not that old. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I'm trying to negotiate for your life. Okay. She anyway, kind of like tucks her head behind the window. Come with us and we'll help you catch some meat somewhere else. All right. Let's give it a shot. Okay. Let's head for the nearest woodland area, I okay. guess. Okay. Yeah, so you're on top of this Umbridge Hill, of course. You guys head back down the hill, a little to the east of where you had come from on your way, where there's a small patch of woods there. Well, what do you do once you kind of find a nice, quiet place? I start trying to track some animals. Okay. But I let... Inverna help because or I help Inverna because she is better at that than I am. Okay. So I'm going to do a survival check. 21. Okay. Yeah, you find a game trail for sure. Looks like deer, probably more than one, had recently passed through the area you're hunting in. Sweet. Let's go find... Did what? Yeah. Oh, say, so did you bring the manticore with you? Like, yeah. was he? Okay. So he's like tagging along with your party. Yeah, <laughs> okay. I didn't want to leave him alone with the. Okay. Woman. Oh man, I should have told her to leave while we're. What's okay. What's your marching order? Um, I guess Inverna would have to be first because she's like she, leading yeah, she... the way. Okay. And then I'll be next because I'm helping her, and Donna will bring up the rear. Yeah. Okay. So the manticore is kind of behind you guys yeah okay and yeah so it's been you know maybe 10 or 15 minutes or so of, of your short walk away from Umbridge Hill and uh, you can hear behind you some growls and some more rigorous scratching at the ground as the manticore seems to be growing impatient Donabelle is nervous being right in front of it <laughs> <laughs> have we found any deer yet yeah, so you found the trail. You're following the trail. Um, and why don't you make stealth checks for everybody? I'll roll for the manticore. So I have to roll with disadvantage because I am wearing clinky chainmail. I rolled a one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so right off the bat, I don't think I need to roll for anyone else. Well, yeah, so let's say that as you had just come into view of these deer, you seeing them first, uh, the manticore being very stealthy behind you guys, uh, Donna and I suppose Iner Inerva? Inverna? Inverna. Inverna being fairly quiet as well. Your armor clank clanks as, <laughs> as Inverna kind of quickly comes to a stop upon seeing them. And <clears throat> the deer, look your direction. What do you do in this moment? I try to shoot one with my crossbow before it can get away. Take a shot. Seven. Seven to hit? Yeah. Okay, um, are your companions doing anything? Um, let's see. As your arrow flies over the back of one of these deer? Yeah, Inverna, In Inverna has a longbow, so she'll also try. Okay. Fourteen. Alright, fourteen hits. Roll your damage. <laughs> Inverna's damage. Um, seven. That's plenty, yeah. Yay. So this uh, doe that was there with a, with a buck, it looks like, uh, just falls to the ground. The buck darts off very rapidly. The manticore, like, for a second begins to, like, pounce and take flight after it. But uh, seeing that the one has now immediately fallen to the ground, looks pleased. We caught you some <laughs> meat. Excellent. Go, go eat that meat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, it, uh, it goes over and starts chowing down and then like lifts its grotesquely human head back up to you, still covered in blood and guts and uh, 
thank you, just dripping, and uh, buries its face back in this thing and then carries it off back up toward the hills far south of where you guys had come from. Okay. What do you do now? We quickly <laughs> return to Umbridge Hill to get the woman out of her mill. Okay. So you head back and uh, you see Adabra still like kind of just peering over the windowsill from the second floor of this windmill. Is, is it gone? For now. But we need you to come back to town with us. It's not safe out here. There's dragons and also manticores, I guess. Yeah, so so she kind of then lifts her head up, looks out the window either way, goes to another window that's kind of just on the other side of the windmill, looks out. Well, things look pretty safe around here now. Did they I, look I safe I, five minutes ago? I think I'm going to press my luck. This is my home, and I need the, I need the mill to continue my work. She, um, you learn from the thing that she works with herbs and grain to produce different kind of tinctures and things. So... Yes, I'm, I'm kind of bound here, but thank you so much for taking care of that manticore. Uh, it, what, did you manage to kill it? What happened? We gave it a deer, so if you don't come with us, it might come back because it knows where you are. Hmm. You're right. Well, uh, perhaps I could do some more hunting around here or pay someone to leave an offering if that's what it comes to, but... Like I said, I, I think I'm pretty settled here. I'll write you a note for uh, the taskmaster of, of Fandolin, and, and hopefully that'll convince him that I'm set on staying. Inverna is looking kind of impatient. <laughs> she goes, Old oh, lady, <laughs> you don't come back with us right now! <laughs> I, again, I, I'm not old, but please, uh, thank you for saving me. I'm willing to give you one of my health potions and this note, and, and then you can be back on your way to collect whatever reward you were promised. Okay, this way we get a health potion and money. Pretty good deal. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, so she kind of goes downstairs. Please, please come in. Welcomes you guys inside the... First floor of the windmill there. She grabs some parchment, scribbles out her note real quick to Harbin Wester, who, who wrote that uh, post on the job board. And, yep, reaches into a cupboard, pulls out one of a few potions in there, and she hands it to you. Well, this, this should be all you need. Um, would you like to stay for the evening? Yeah, we'll stay just to make sure it's safe. <laughs> okay. So you guys wake the next morning, and you had a peaceful night's sleep there, no returning manticore. Adabra would have probably given you some information about this location, Umbridge Hill, because you would have seen several stone cairns off to the east, just, just you know, beyond the ruined house that's there next to the windmill, and she would have told you how it's some kind of old dwarven burial ground, but doesn't know much about it beyond that. And... At the end, she hands you a note and your potion and sends you back off to Fandolin where you can collect your reward. Fun! <laughs> All right, that is the Umbridge Hill quest from the Dragon of Ice Fire Peak. Check out my DM guide video for this quest. Thank you for watching and keep building. <laughs>